Yes, my good people, you are welcome to Younger Life today. Um, today, I just want to touch on the issue of uh, resuscitation and rehabilitation of uh, waterboard. Now, the name has changed to Anambra State Water Asset Holding Corporation, ASWAC. That is the name. And we are going to their headquarters today. I want to show you what is going on there at the headquarters in Oka, Anambra State, State Capital. Yes, um, earlier on, when I first heard about this uh, resuscitation of uh, moribund, you know, waterboard in Anambra State, I said it, if uh, Soludo can be able to do this, then he has written his name in gold. I said it. And uh, lo and behold, the governor is doing that presently. I've given us one video on that from Onicha and the uh, Oka, one one video each. I don't know about to nail it for now, probably until I make inquiry and uh, we discover if anything is going on in the concerning that uh, resuscitation. Well, I don't know how we say we are living in a city where there is no water, government cannot provide water. In fact, we are terrible. Africans, I don't understand the kind of life we are living. Eh? You are living in a city, before you get water, you have to dig a borehole and get water for your household. The ones we have earlier went moribund. And subsequent governors have been coming and nothing happened to them to resuscitate it. That is too bad. Honestly speaking, it's too bad. There are certain things that make up a city. There is no way you stay in a city, you don't have water anytime you need it. So far that you are paying your bills. You cannot stay in a city, you don't have light. These things are not in existence abroad. Though I have not been abroad, but we hear stories, we watch over television and the rest of them, things that are happening. You cannot stay in the city and you say you don't have good road. You see, good transportation network, water, electricity, and accommodation. You now these things are called make up a city, you know. And uh, the cleanliness aspect of it, keeping the city clean, is a part of the city. Well, um, I want to believe that uh, Governor Soludo is trying his best to get close to the smart city he's talking of. Me, I don't, I'm not on the negative side to believe that it's not achievable to achieve, to make Anambra a smart state or whatever is still achievable. It lies with some little, little commitments from the part of the government, you know, that what we come up to make the state a smart city. Well, even if you don't get that, at least there should be some kind of equipment towards that. Well, without wasting your time, let's go to the Asowak headquarters, Oka. We want to see what and what that have been in place then i still remain to your presenter let's go yes my good people we've just arrived at uh, the anambra state urban water asset holding corporation that's the uh, asowak oka headquarters that is where we are now but uh, formerly 
Anambra State Water Board. Well, I've just uh, noticed this now, but I know that nomenclature has been changed. You know, it wasn't the name earlier, but there is no issues with that. I just noticed it now, and um, that means that um, ownership has changed, or probably there is a collaboration which is not no, out of place. Well, this is one of the projects that uh, I give kudos to Governor Charles Soludo. In fact, this is one of the number one projects. Why I said this is that water is very important in human beings' life. I don't know how how we call where we are living a city where government cannot provide water and we are calling it a city <laughs> so earlier on before the rehabilitation and the resuscitation of the water scheme in Anambra state I said that uh, if Soludo can do this then he has achieved a lot but lo and behold it has come to reality yes and uh, we are inside the premises we are going to move around and see what is going on here this is just their office this is their headquarters in Oka their operational office is uh, at Aroma side across Aroma, that is where they have their operational office. We have been there before, and we brought to you that site and uh, the various things that has been rehabilitated, that place, and uh, it has now become functional. Another point is uh, sustainability. Sometimes I can't imagine how these things came to Moribond. In a city, water that has been functional at a point collapsed and nothing happened, nobody cares. That is too bad. So, uh, the work going on here is quite commendable. This is just an office for the running of administrative part of the water board or water access as they call it that is the Anambra State Urban Water Asset Holding Corporation ASWAC so from the look of things some offices are ready to be put in use then the environment landscapings are going on now and a whole lot of jobs probably and majorly at the other building the other upstairs they you know uh, they remain to do some roofings and uh, some reorganization inside the or reconstruction inside the buildings so but um like i said i believe it's a collaborative effort probably uh, I, I don't know actually the people behind it but for the fact that the name has changed from water board to Anambra State Water Asset Holding Corporation so I believe uh, there are some changes in the management so now what matters is the functionality of the place this time around it's not about who is behind it or who is not behind it is it functional yes carry go that is the point another area they should focus is to ensure that uh, this water gets to households you know the way it used to be people channel water into their buildings so that um, the water will be flowing inside homes like we used to have it then in the old Anambra state so this is not only happening in Oka 
like I said, across here is where you see the operational office of this water access holding. On its own, about three places have been rehabilitated and resuscitated. We have been to one at um, opposite MCC side. And about three, about other two are still in existence. So, but um, well, uh, the buildings are being reorganized, which is not bad. Just to reorganize it and they put um, some befitting features in it. The office is quite okay. There is nothing wrong about it. This is not um, this is not a fun city or a realization center. This is just an office. What matters most is the functionality of the water. But however, anything worth doing, what's doing well. I like the setting of this place. I believe when they are done with the landscapings and everything, the place will bounce back fully. The blue color makes it um, heavenly. But I, I please, I want to take note of something. These blue walls, they should just leave it like that. They should not go and make, mess it up with uh, all those uh, village drawings. Village drawings of most of the places I've seen where they rehabilitated this uh, water system. In fact, if you ask me, they should go and paint off those, those, uh, those things on the wall. A simple plaque is okay. A simple plaque written commissioned by the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, so so and so date is okay in front of the gate, just beside the gate or inside the compound. All this uh, local political something we have overgrown, we have overgrown such you know such thing. That's the way I see it though. Hmm. That person might think otherwise. So that is the point. We know that it is Soludo that rehabilitated it. So writing whatever, whatever that is written all over the walls, defacing the walls, you know, it doesn't make uh, sense to me. It, it looks uh, very local. Just see how beautiful these walls are. Plain blue. You don't need uh, to deface the place. Yeah? Just watch now, see how beautiful it is. Somebody now will come and start writing whatever, whatever, solution, whatever, whatever, in front. Hmm? Yeah? See how beautiful it is. Well, that is my own point though. You don't need to draw any tap or water in front of this place or write anything. Leave it like this. Let it uh, look mature, you know, and put a plaque probably in front of that gate or somewhere else inside the compound that is the point thank you